What's up y'all, it's your boy Tobias here and welcome back to my channel and yet another planting installment. So today I am gonna be planting a Persian lime tree and I am super excited because this little bad boy that I picked up from my nursery, local nursery about three days ago, is already showing some high promise with a lot of fruit already on this plant. There's a little bit of an overcast that's slightly windy, so excuse the wind if that does get out of control, but I think it's high time that we go on ahead and plant this bad boy in its new forever home. Okay, so before we jump too far into this video, I wanna talk to you guys really quick about the care that I've done for this plant thus far. So like I said, I picked this up from my local nursery about three days ago, and because I'm on the East Coast and it's still early in March, there's still, a, there's still a potential for a few days of frost to come through, and I don't want that to ruin this plant before it even has a chance to thrive. So what I did was I brought this home from the nursery. You wanna make sure that you allow your plant some time to acclimate to the new temperature, whether you're bringing it from indoor to outdoor or from nursery to your home. You wanna make sure that you give it that transition period from what I'm understanding. So I allowed this to sit in my house for three days, and now I'm gonna go ahead and replant it into its new frost ever home or until you know one day I decide that I might want to plant up a little bit but I essentially left it inside of its nursery planter I never took it out I just literally sat it inside of what's going to be its forever home so I'm gonna go ahead and sit that to the side for right now but like I said, this is a Persian lime tree. The one thing about this fruit that I'm super excited to see is that it is already bearing fruit. There are so many little baby limes on this. So, you know, if all goes well and if I keep it, you know, fed and give it everything that it needs, this could be potentially a very exciting product to have in my container garden. Um, the one thing about this type of plant, it is definitely going to need um, a soil that is meant for succulents, palms, and citrus. So I'm gonna be using the Espoma Organic Cactus Mix. Let me bring that up so you guys can get a closer look. So this is the product that I'm gonna be using, the Organic Cactus um, Mix here. I'm gonna be using two bags for this container. Um, this is a rather large, well, actually, no, it's not, actually. This isn't that, that big. Let me see. This is maybe about a 16, 17, something like that. Um, but it has a lot of drainage holes in the bottom, which is extremely important. The one thing I have been told over and over and over again is that a lot of these plants in particular that I'm purchasing, none of them want wet feet, which you guys probably have heard if you're into planting. That just simply means that the roots do not want to be submerged or resting in a lot of water. So it's definitely important to make sure whatever type of container you use to make sure that it has a lot of drainage holes. So let's stop chit-chatting and let's just go on ahead and get into the whole repotting of this. And I'll talk you guys through the steps uh, once we get there. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is go on ahead and just add in just a little bit of our potting mix down at the bottom, just so that we can go on ahead and get the ball rolling. And I'm gonna add just a little tiny bit of our fertilizer in. But I'm gonna show you guys a little trick that I found online that seems to work really well for a lot of people which is you just put a little bit at the bottom. We're gonna take our fertilizer, which is, uh, let me slide this to the side so you can see. I'm gonna be adding in some citrus tone from Espoma, the organic citrus tone, citrus and avocado food. Let's move this back. And so I'm gonna go on in and I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of this at the bottom. Not a lot. And the reason why I'm not gonna add a lot now, I'll show you why in just a few moments, so maybe about not even like a quarter cup. That's gonna go right down into the soil here. And I'm just gonna give this a light little mix around. The next thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. I'm actually gonna sit this directly down inside of this and I'm gonna put the soil around the sides of this so that all I have to do is lift this up and I'll already know the exact depth of what this needs to be. So now I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna just fill this in from the sides. I know this might seem crazy, but trust me, I've seen so many people doing this and I was like, oh my God, that's so incredibly smart. Why did I never think about that? So I'm just gonna go in. 
fill this in from the sides just like this and I think you guys are gonna get the gist of what I'm doing in just a few moments this just makes it a lot easier so that you know how wide the hole needs to be when you go to sit your plant down on the inside I'm gonna turn this around this way And as you guys can see, I am doing this on a table because this topsoil is not cheap, honey. So we don't wanna lose any of that. We wanna make sure that we are getting all of it. And this will just give me a good little basis so that I know how wide the hole needs to be for when I put this down inside of the uh, pot. And you'll see the reason why I only put a little bit of the fertilizer in just a few moments. And as always, anytime you're planting, especially in containers, make sure that you guys are leaving roughly about an inch or two from the top so that if you wanna to top it off with some mulch, you can, and also so that when you go to water it, Sorry there. Um, what was I saying? Make sure that you guys are leaving an inch or two at the top. So that way, when you go to water it, you don't have to worry about all of your soil kind of just flowing over the edge. You don't want that. Okay, so now all I have to do is I can just pull this directly up. And as you can see, now I have the perfect little place for me to sit the plant directly inside. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take our lovely plant out. I'm gonna just squeeze the sides just a little bit just to make it easier for myself to get this bad boy out. And actually, anytime I start messing around with the roots, I wanna make sure that I actually have my hands on it so that I don't destroy the plant. Um, but here we go. Oh, this is beautiful, you guys. Look at that root system. That's intense. I'm just gonna gently, and I mean very, very, very gently, open this bad boy up. You don't want, you don't want the roots to start, you know, spinning around down at that bottom, so I'm just gonna slightly open this up. Don't be afraid to open it up. Give those roots a chance to kind of reset themselves. Just gently, not too much. There we go. See? That's perfect. All right, I'm gonna leave it just like that. And now, I can sit this down in there. Just like that. Now that has you know that has gone safely down in the soil and now we can come in and top it off with just a little bit more not too much because like I said you want to make sure you're leaving about an inch or so at the top okay Make sure that's nice and padded down. Don't want to leave any gaps in there. Okay. All right. We have transplanted our beautiful lime tree into its pot. So now, let me show you the reason why I said you don't need to put a lot at the top. Because what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna do a ring around the outside of the plant of a little bit of the fertilizer now. And you wanna make sure when you're doing this, you guys, that you're not putting it directly next to where the root system is. You don't wanna do that. 
and I'm not even putting a lot of it. Because like I said, I did put some, you know, in the bottom of the mix, but this is a slow release. So, you know, this will get it in there. And as I water it, this will start to seep down and it'll do its job. And clearly this is a very healthy plant because there's already a good amount of the fertilizer. Um, I'm sorry, there's already a good amount of fruits already on this. Give me one moment and I'll be right back. I wanted to give you guys a close up. As you can see, we already have some beautiful limes already blossoming on here. I mean, that is fantastic that there are already limes on here. I mean, that's so exciting and it's all over the tree. So now I'm gonna give this a good watering and that's it you guys, it's just that simple. And all of that fertilizer will go in a nice slow release. And eventually before I take this outside, I will go ahead and put some mulch in this. And that's perfect, you guys. That's it. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this back in my house. I'm gonna let this drain a little bit. I'm gonna take this back in my house and I'm actually gonna leave this inside of my house for probably about the next month until I know without a doubt that there's no more frost. And then we're gonna take this bad boy outside. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I really do appreciate it. And like I said, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell to be notified because there's gonna be so many more videos just like this. Bye guys.